Hello guys, I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to continue with surrealism. Uh, remember that surrealism is when we mix something that looks real with something that doesn't look real. So remember the example that we saw last week where we had whales flying, we had weird animals. So that is surrealism because it's mixing real with not real. And we're going to continue with the artist that we began seeing last week. His name was Salvador Dalí. And Salvador Dalí was from Spain. And he was the most important surrealist artist. And his art is very, very famous. You probably have seen uh, The Persistence of Memory. That is the one with the melted clocks. And another thing that became very famous of his work were animals with really long legs. Especially the elephants. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to make animals, but we're going to make them surreal. How are we going to do that? We're going to make really, really long legs for them. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is get a white paper and a pencil to start our drawing. Remember that if you don't know how to do an animal, you can search for the image of an animal on the internet. Um, in this case, I'm going to make a zebra with really long legs. So as you can see here, I have the basic structure of my zebra. It looks like a horse because I haven't done the stripes of the zebra yet. So uh, well now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make really long legs. Okay guys, so as you can see, it looks very weird. Um, it's meant to look that way because it's surrealism. Remember that surrealism mixes reality with something that's not real. So in this case, zebras are real, but these long legs are not real. So this is why this one is surrealism. Okay guys, once you have the drawing ready, it's time to color. So remember that you can color with whatever you want. Okay guys, so here you have it. This is my finished drawing, my surrealist zebra. Remember that surrealism is when we mix real with not real. And in this case, the real part is the zebra and the non-realistic part are the really long legs, right? As you can see, I colored everything, the whole paper. You guys have to color all of it, including the background. And I added some small decorations, which is up to you completely. Okay guys, that's all. Now you have your surreal artwork with a very surrealist animal with really, really long legs. And it looks just like the elephants of Salvador Dalí. I hope you enjoy the class. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I can't wait to see your artworks. Remember that you can send them to my email or you can upload them to Google Classroom, whichever is easier for you. And I hope I see you soon. Bye-bye.